Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me today. Very pleased to be putting out the second video of the week. And what a video that was the other day, man. Tony K by Dealer was just absolutely ridiculous and I absolutely loved it. But this video is popping up everywhere and I'm going to have to get on it because I know there's probably quite a few out there that are wondering uh, what my response to it is going to be. Now I've never actually heard the original version of this song so I'm going to check it out after I've done this one. But um, it's going to be an interesting one I think. I've loved everything that Falling in Reverse have been dropping, um, certainly like the last like three or four videos they've done. Um, the quality of them is just absolutely shit out. But this is the drug in me is reimagined. I believe it's um, it's like a rework of an old song. And I know they were a little bit more on the emo side um, before the new album. I'm not massively familiar with the previous stuff, I'll be perfectly honest with you. But I'm interested to check this out, but before I do that, I'd like to give a shout out to all the Patreon supporters. So shout outs go to Albin Holmstrong, Damien Stoker, Joey Bevins, Lee Griffiths, Mitch Burton, Post the Boss, James Shepard, Demonic Gaming YT and Brittany Swigert of Casper TV. If you want to get on board with supporting the channel, please head over to patreon.com forward slash FYM reacts. I'd like to give another shout out. To my boys in Cut Short from Liverpool sent me through an EP along with two t-shirts today. Thank you very much, guys. If you've not heard Cut Short, go and check them out at facebook.com forward slash cut short UK. They're fucking badass. Right, guys, here we go. This is falling in reverse with the drug in me is reimagined. Here we go. Definitely got the emo vibe to it. My body's trembling and shivers down my spine. Adrenaline kicks and shifts and overdrive. Your secrets keep you sick, your lies keep you alive. Snake eyes every single time you roll with crooked eyes. I felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down. Tell you what, you can't the follow him on his vocals, not one bit. Feel like I'm waiting for it to kick it in. Happens all the time. I can't believe I'm actually meant to be here. Trying to consume the drug in me. You can hear the passion in the voice, fucking hell. Meant to be 
If that's Ronnie playing, man, that's really fucking good. So that was falling in reverse with the drug in me is reimagined. As I said, I've not heard the original version of this one. And the one thing I'll say about this is it really does showcase how diverse this band is. I thought it was a piece of music. I thought it was beautifully written. Very, very heartfelt lyrics. The, the, pas the passion in those lyrics and just the complete honesty of it comes across really, really well. The video was shot beautifully. I did kind of feel that I was forever waiting for, like, for it to kick. And then I was pleased when it did, but it didn't go to where I was expecting it to go. And I really wanted to like this, I really did, but for me, it, it just, it, I'm, I'm just not sold on it, I'm afraid. It's, it's, it's gone back to, I feel like it's gone back to those like emo rock days, you know, bands like um, Panic at the Disco, My Chemical Romance, um, and I was never really a big fan of those. And th this this just wasn't for me. I'm afraid it's um, it's not one of those that's going to go into uh, into my daily playlist. But at the same time, you I can't fault that it's not a good song. It is a really good song. It's just uh, just not one that I feel like I personally connected with. But that's my thoughts on it. But let me know what you think of this one, guys. I'm definitely a much, much bigger fan of the heavier side of Falling in Reverse, but I do like my more mellow stuff from time to time. So, you know, I'm not just being an elitist or anything like that on it. I mean, I also love bands, you know, like Palisades, Painting Promises, things like that. So um, I do dig this type of thing from time to time. This one just wasn't for me. But thanks for watching as always guys, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video, so I'll catch you all soon.